Okay, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, I'm Aaron Murky, and this is The Merc Shop, and today we're talking about sketch comedy and where you can start your career in sketch comedy. This is a series where I look at ideas from philosophy to personal growth, lessons I've learned, but hopefully something you can build upon. Welcome to The Merc Shop. So, sketch comedy is kind of uh, a different beast that comes, there's people from all over, so stand-ups will do sketch comedy, uh, Improvisers will do sketch comedy. It's kind of like a mishmash of things. So you could start in other places and then move your way on to sketch comedy, but you can also just start straight up in sketch comedy. So who enjoys sketch comedy? Sketch comedy is more of a polished look. It's more of um, a little bit of perfectionism. I'm trying to make beats hit. Um, I'm sounding more articulate. Did you notice that? Sketch comedy is, of course, writing of sketches and doing that kind of thing. A lot of it is filled up on YouTube. YouTube does quick, uh, or TikTok even does a lot of quick uh, sketches, which in the sketch world can be called blackouts um, or extended blackouts. That's kind of through the Second City world. But it's for people that want to do a more polished, structured show that can be reproduced and re repeated uh, in front of an audience. So there we go. That's sketch comedy done. Pros and cons of sketch comedy. Okay. The cons. The cons of sketch comedy. Uh, various attitudes and work ethics. I know there's always um, a little bit of a challenge socially when it's like, who does this, who does that? I did this last time, you did that. I feel like I'm pushing all of this. I, I feel like you're not doing any of the work. And you're, anyway, there's a lot, there can be a lot of infighting. Um, it's a band, so anything you have with a band is going to happen in sketch comedy and trying to elevate each other and working the group and working past that kind of thing. So just an awareness of the social uh, aspects. Uh, so yeah, you're dealing with egos. Uh, your individual voice is smaller. Standing out is harder. You're not going to be seen for many things. Just like improv, you're kind of part of a group and you're not seen for as an individual. I mean, you can stand out, and you will at times, but it's more likely you'll stand out as a stand-up than you will as a sketch comedian or an improviser. So audience expectations are higher with sketch comedy because you have the time to make smooth all the edges out, whereas in improv you can kind of wing it, you can move a chair here and there, and people will forgive you for like putting a chair here, putting a chair there, making a car, that kind of thing, whereas in sketch it's like, it better be smooth. Better be smooth and what run well. This is a stage show at this point, so just an awareness. I find sketch to be the most expensive out of all of it because there can be costume, there can be, there's posters involved, there's a lot involved in expenditures, there's making sketches for tape, um, and, and doing that, that sometimes is really expensive. I know making any kind of production can be expensive because you need a camera guy, you need a sound guy, you need lights, you need all these things. I think that's why sometimes it's secondary where people do improv or stand up first and then they go to sketch. I think that's probably why because they're ready to invest more into what they want to be doing in their characters and their sketches. Uh, the turnaround can be long so in between shows you have some downtime writing another show so that can be long and so the, you, you can't turn over an audience as quick so in improv you can turn an audience over every night. Where they, if they really like you, they can come back night after night after night and see a different show. Whereas in sketch, it's like once that they've seen that show, they've seen that show. So then it's touring different shows and trying to get other shows. Like at Second City, I know we would have a show and you'd be working your next show within that show at the end. So you're constantly kind of turning over. George Carlin was actually very good at this, at turning over shows. Um, he was very good at like just, I'm going to take this joke out and put this joke in and work that. Uh, and then eventually get all new jokes in there. And by that time he'd be starting a new set, a new, and then he'd tape that special and get onto a new one. Uh, trying to do that and pace yourself. Uh, a lot of burnout happens in sketch. A lot of sketch groups don't make past three years, four years. Um, and if they do, it's very successful. And you should be congratulating each and every one of them because working that group dynamic, working through all those things, working through egos, working through that is, is not easy. I wrote down people's comedy math. Everyone's comedy is a little bit different. So sometimes you'll have uh, just these, you'll put out ideas and then the culling of ideas and uh, hurt feelings and that kind of thing. So just be aware that uh, sometimes it comes down to comedy math and everyone's comedy math can be a little bit different, but the answer uh, is up to the group and that can have hurt feelings and movement and change and that kind of thing. Like 
So there's a lot of social dynamics within Sketch. You're working with people, you're working with a team. It can take the load off of it. It's not just all on you, kind of like, uh, not like stand-up. Stand-up is all about you and how you succeed and how you um, perform. Basically, that's all on you. Uh, sketch is a team effort and working together to get your ideas out, which then takes a little bit off of you, but still, you want to be successful and do what you need to do. Um, there's structure to it. For people that like structure and like writing and that kind of thing, this is a great avenue for you. It allows you to work within structures that have already been created and done for thousands and thousands of years. There's controlled risk, so you can risk within Sketch, but it's not like improv where it's like, gosh, to the wind, let's go, let's try this out and get real stinkers. I mean, you still get stinkers in Sketch, but at least you have an avenue where you can write the stink out of it. You can work multiple skills, um, so if you really like character work and you like costume and you like makeup, it really attends to that. If you have skills within producing or um, accounting or marketing, that it fits. You can tour a lot of sketch because the same show in different places. Improv, you can tour it, but there's not a lot to go off of other than like, these improvisers are amazing. That's it, because you're never going to see the same show twice. This, you get to see the show in a repertoire, and you can have multiple shows going at the same time, much like Second City did with its Tour Co, and its Education Co, and its Main Stage. Um, multiple shows happening. Uh, Sketch is a great place because it does lead to other things. It can lead to film and television. It's amazing, and it's a great journey. Go buy some mustaches. Yeah. <laughs> But look to, look to real life to create your characters. I think that's the best way. Um, it's just, it's writing theater just bigger, basically, and funnier. So sketch is about funny and doing that. You can have sentimental moments, but it's more about funny. Find your voice, find your style, just like stand up. Find your voice, find your style, find your characters if you're a character actor. Write down sketch ideas. If you want to get started, start writing down um, premises. Uh, premises for sketches. Um, ideas you have, characters you have, things you see in real life. Learning to write uh, scripts is also really important for sketch. Well, this has been the last of the series of the workshop workshop, how to start your comedy career. This has been Sketch Comedy. If you have any questions about Sketch Comedy, please ask below. Ask me. I'd love to answer. I'd love to help you out in any way I possibly can. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a video. Check it out. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Uh, Thank you for watching Aaron Murky in Character. On this channel, I share my life passions of character acting, comedy, and helping other people find their voice. Consider subscribing and liking this video.